back to back absolutely huge crashes caught on camera one with a fireball we'll talk about what one driver did to save their life and before we go any further i want you to know everyone survived these crashes our first crash is a wrong way driver happened this past sunday and both these crashes are early morning crashes between the hours of 3 a.m and 5 a.m where you are battling both drunk drivers and fatigued drivers. Take a look, you can see just how far the strong way driver went. We tracked them several miles back on camera uh, around the curve. This is I-465. We talked to a professional driver who, who has survived multiple wrong way drivers on the freeway. Uh, she advised their they come up at you so quickly since you're going 70 miles at them, they're going 70 miles at you. 140 miles per hour, a wrong way driver coming at you will be on you in a split second. Very little time to react. But this driver did react and they moved the car at the last moment to the right, which helped to deflect some of the energy involved, which we really think made the difference between making this a survivable versus a non-survivable crash. The car got the worst of it, but incredibly, they were released from the hospital the same day. The driver in the white van was arrested on suspicion of drunk driving. You can see them walking away from the scene, a good Samaritan getting involved, telling them they're not going anywhere and they need to sit down right now. That good Samaritan stayed around, called emergency services, and flagged down Indiana State Troopers. He gets our Hoosier Award of the Week. The second video is the one with the fireball. I know it's hard to see, but stay with me here. If you kind of squint and look at it, we'll play it back a couple of times. What you'll see is a, a semi truck in the right lane. Then it seems to there's something that makes it move abruptly. And, and that's when it goes across all the lanes of traffic, rolls onto its side and strikes the center median, resulting in what appears to be a, a fireball. For context, this is what we're working with. This is how far away the camera is. And again, I know the video is not great, but what that video does provide is a bit of a timeline leading up to this incident. And you can kind of make that out. If, if you look at this video, we can suss out some details and some key findings. Keep Again, keep in mind, this is early morning hours around 3 or 4 a.m. So one of our first thoughts might go to fatigue, especially when we see a big course correction, so to speak. Uh, that's a sign that maybe someone has fallen asleep, they wake up, and then suddenly they make a big movement with the steering wheel. The The semi-truck laid down, it rolled over, and then a sedan, the sedan that was behind it, struck into 